Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey in here with another competitive Pokemon Sun and Moon moveset video guide analysis, whatever you want to call it. This time we're going to be talking about Golisopod. Now, if you actually missed any of my previous moveset videos, there is a link to the playlist down below. I encourage you to check that out. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitch and Twitter to stay up to date or to know when I am streaming. But Golisopod is this bug water type with base 125 attack and base 140 defense. Uh, it's has a really, really, I, I would say it's a, I don't know, it's an interesting ability because uh, it evolves from a wimp pod. It used to be a wimp, but now he's a jerk. Um, and now it has emergency exit, which is pretty much a wimp out. But when this Pokemon is at half of its HP or less, it switches out. So if you come in with the Lysopod and get hit hard uh, and are dropped below 50% of your health, you'll switch out. So. Uh, it's an ability that you definitely have to deal with. I would advise running a Defogger or a Rapid Spinner when running Golisopod, but it does have some really cool stuff going for it. The fact that it has base 125 attack and base 140 defense, as well as this new move, First Impression, which is um, pretty much like Fake Out, except it doesn't flinch your opponent, but it does have that priority, as well as 90 base uh, power before stab so it hits extremely hard you can only use it on the first turn uh, liquidation is also used on it we're talking about the first set now the life orb set that abuses that attack power but liquidation and first impression are musts on this set liquidation is your strongest uh, water type stab um, it's also accurate I also run aqua jet on the life orb set I feel like it's necessary when they're Pokemon like like now, Hiligo, like Mammal Swine running around that you could just pick off with an Aqua Jet if they've been weakened, or in Hiligo's case, dies at about. It just needs a little bit of chip damage, like Stealth Rock to break the Sash, and then it dies to Aqua Jet. And then Leech Life is your next attack. Uh, you can also run Poison Jab on the Life Orb set right here, but the EV spread is just maximizing your attack. Enough speed for a Lolan Marowak as well as uh, most Delmize, which try and. Uh, speed creep Alolan Marowak, so Leech Life is also there as an option to uh, smack those hard with your 383 attack stat. Again, you can also run Poison Jab, which allows you to hit Pokemon such as uh, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Fini, for example, uh, who actually struggles to get you out of there with Emergency Exit. Um, a Moonblast into... Moonblast doesn't necessarily knock you into your emergency exit so you can get off a strong attack before you actually get on out of there now Be careful though because emergency exit does activate on stealth rock and spikes I'm not sure if they fixed it on showdown yet, but we've tested it on my DS and uh, it does activate through hazards So be careful um, With that but the life warp set mainly just to be a strong attacking one next up We have spikes defensive now some people have actually looked down on this set But I found a lot of success with this set shout out to it's gator who um, made it known to me, um, and also PK who inputted some of this because uh, the physically defensive set uh, is meant to set up spikes and uh, check Pokemon uh, such as Mega Gyarados, such as Mammal Swine. Both are very, very hard hitters, especially if you're playing pre bank. Um, both are really, really common. And I'll show you the calc right here. But Mammal Swine's Life Orb, Adam, and Earthquake. So if you're playing It's Gator, um, Otherwise, they're all going to be focused Sash lead. But if you're playing It's Gator, they're going to be Life Orb, Adam, and Earthquake, and that does 18 to 22 percent. Ice Crash does 15 to 18 percent. So it does nothing to physically defensive Golisopod, whereas your Liquidation does 73 to 86 percent. Um, that's without any attack investment. You still have 286 attack. So um, the set is Spikes, Leech Life, Liquidation. Leech Life is your form of recovery. Liquidation allows you to hit Mammoth Swine hard, and then I have Bulk Up as the last move. Now you can make the last move. Whatever you want to make it. Uh, it could be Sucker Punch, it could be Aqua Jet, it could be um, Poison Jab if you still want to be able to hit Tapu Fini and things like that. But I like Bulk Up because as you can see the calc right here versus uh, Gyarados. A plus one Gyarados versus a Bulk Up um, Golisopod does 24 to 28%. So it does nothing with that. And I have Horn Leech here because they don't have Leech Life in the calc unfortunately. But I made it 80 base power and then Bug. Uh, so... And your leech life is doing at plus one 87 to 103 percent to Mega Gyarados. So you're beating it 1v1. So if Gyarados comes out on you, you can start bulking up alongside its dragon dances. It can't hit you hard until it mega evolves. Crunch is its best attack to hit you. A uh, waterfall is not going to do any damage before it mega evolves. So basically, you beat it up 1v1, you can bulk up on it, and then you leech life to restore your health. So the bulk up set tanks hits from that, tanks hits from Mammal Swine. It just takes hits, uh, as well as can beat. Scissor War 1v1 if you bulked up enough. 
uh, because you can definitely take bullet punches as well as brutal swings. So next up is Choice Band. Again, the EV Sprite to be able to outspeed, um, a little Marowak, as well as Speed Creeping, Delmize, uh, Max Attack, the rest is put in HP, but it's First Impression, Liquidation, Aqua Jet, and the next move I have, Poison Jab. I think Poison Jab can be uh, definitely run on the Choice Band set, uh, because again, Pokemon like Tapu Fini are going to be coming in to resist your dual stab, whereas Poison Jab is hitting them hard for a 2 hit KO uh, with that. Bulu might want to come in, uh, even Tapu Lele might want to come in on predicting your first impression. You can go for Poison Jab or Liquidation on that switch and knock them out, respectively. However, Choice Band does have other options, especially because you're locked into a move, so you want to be able to hit hard. Sucker Punch is definitely an option for priority. Uh, be able to pick off, especially if you're... Um, well, for the most part, you can actually go for first impression for a lot of people like Latios and Latias, but if it's like a Gengar, for example, Sucker Punch will help you out versus that. Uh, Leech Life is also very viable on this set. I don't think any move is more viable than the next, which is why I put CB more options instead of other options, because you can run either of these on the Choice Band set. The last pod, though, if you want to run it on your team, I would advise, you know, Magnezone. I feel like I say that all the time, but Magnezone is so good to be able to trap Celesteel, to be able to trap Skarmory. Uh, though Skarmory doesn't appreciate Choice Band Liquidation, if it does have Brave Bird, it is going to be knocking you into your emergency exit, and you are going to get on out of there before you even get off an attack. So do be careful of that. But uh, Magnezone is really nice because it traps Celesteel, traps uh, Skarmory, and mainly for Skarmory because Celesteel isn't doing much to you at Heavy Slam. Leech Seed and whatnot, and your liquidation is a 2 KO on Spadef Celesteela easily. Choice Band liquidation is easily a 2 KO, so mainly for Skarmory right there. Uh, hazard Control, whether you be a Rapid Spinner in Delmize or Defog users in Mandibuzz or Tapu Fini, um, all of them the Glide Spot does appreciate. Even Skarmory for Defog when it does get deep. Uh, you can use Skarmory for Defog for Glide Spot depending on where you're playing, but Skarmory for Defog. Um, as well as Hazard Support, so Skarmory for Spike, Stealth Rock if you're playing in uh, Post Bank. So Pokebank OU, you can get Stealth Rock on Skarmory. Set those up. Basically, Glycepod appreciates um, Hazards. And it also appreciates opposing Tapu Lele being gone because it's Psychic Terrain, Psychic Surge. Uh, that means your uh, priority is not going to work. And a Pokemon like this, which thrives on priority with its first impression hits so hard aqua jet having sucker punch as well you definitely want to be able to get rid of uh tapu lele's terrain and to do that you can actually run uh your own tapu whether it be fini for defog or maybe even tapu coco to volt switch on out of there or you turn into galizapod and get that mon in galizapod actually pairs pretty well with tapu coco considering tapu coco doesn't like pokemon such as marowak and mammal swine and galizapod allows you to get through those mods just with the pure muscle that it has or even as a spiker and get to break through those mods so next up we have the assault vest set now the assault vest set runs for death that way it's not uh to it it's not four hit ko'd by um by tapu fini's moon blast which means it takes three moon blasts to knock you into emergency exit whereas your poison jab is doing about what 33 percent to physically defensive every single turn this also can uh it's also not too it KO'd by um, Greninja's, by Greninja, I unfortunately closed the count, but it's not too it KO'd by uh, Ash Greninja's Dark Pulse, Life Orb Dark Pulse with the Assault Vest set, so that means you can tank one, not get on out of there because of your emergency exit, and then Leech Life its health away uh, with your max attack Leech Life and knock it out, so this set is uh, pretty much just meant to take some hits. Um, and I choose I chose those two when I was calcing just because I think those are the the most common ones that you'll be taking I wouldn't use Galizapod to take a hit like a Thunderbolt from Tapu Coco uh, Because you might be able to take one. Yeah You might be able to take one, but it's just gonna knock you into emergency exit anyway But the uh, the main calcs I wanted to be able to take was Astro Ninja's Dark Pulse uh, Tapu Fini's Moonblast, I want to be able to take multiple of those, that way I can threaten it with the Poison Jab. Of course, you can run Aqua Jet on this set, it's really up to you. Now, it does have other options. I think the biggest option that Galisopod does have, I, I know I keep switching between Galisopod and Galisopod, it, it's Glisco, Galisco, it's how I'm going to say it, uh, is Red Card. Now, Red Card can definitely be used on any of these sets, um, even on the Spiker set, it could definitely be used, but um, Red Card activates before emergency exit so let's say my opponent hits me hard enough to do over 50 percent and my emergency exit will activate a galizapod will show up its red card and their opponent will switch first and then you can switch out 
with emergency exit to get a nice and free switch on your opponent like it's kind of like going for u-turn getting the momentum but if your opponent switches out let's say into um Greninja or whatever because they know you're going to switch out because of emergency exit you can then switch into your Tapu Fini uh, because you know Greninja is out on the field and then basically it's like a tactical switch I like emergency exit a lot for that but red card is definitely useful on any of the sets um, that's the one I've had a lot of success with that's the one I've, I changed it from life or to red card because I like that especially when um, I needed to take a stronger hit let's if, let's say Mega Alakazam Psychic or something it's going to do over 50% but I want to be able to get some sort of momentum um, I'll, and like second terrain is up, I'll use that, I'll send him my Goliath pot, I'll force that guy out, and then I'll be able to see what he has up next. So, uh, bulk up on, a uh, Swords Dance is definitely another option because it does have the priority, uh, you know, Aqua Jet, Sucker Punch, a uh, strong Leech Life as well, you can make your own Swords Dance set. Bulk up can also be used on a Split Death side, I've seen that set running around, but I wasn't too keen on it. I like bulk up on Physically Defensive just because it allows you to take on, again, Gyarados, Mantle Swine a lot better. Taunt can be used on a Swords Dance set to be able to taunt Pokemon such as Toxapex so they can't haze you or status you with Toxic. And then, speaking of Toxic, that can also be used on a Spike set if you want to wear down uh, your opponent with that. But outside of that, um, I fought like a special Ice Beaming one in the stupid battle tree where it ice beamed my Salamence and knocked it out. I was so upset. But outside of that, I'm sorry, I just wanted to mention that. Outside of that, I think these are the main options that Goliath does have. Uh, Assault Fest is really what you want to do with it. You don't have to run Max Attack. You can play around with it if you want to be able to take, like, even hits. I, actually, I don't even think you're taking Life or Top of Coco because of Electric Terrain. Maybe non Life or Top of Coco. You can definitely take a non Life or Top of Coco with this. I'll actually calc it on screen because my stupid calc unfortunately failed. But. Uh, Top of Coco hits ridiculously hard, so even with, even with, uh, it's not a stupid calculator, by the way, it's a very nice calculator, I like it, I like the calculator a lot, but like, see with uh, the terrain up, you can take a life orb hit, but it's gonna knock you into emergency exit anyway, so there's no way, uh, even if you ran like 252, 252, calm, careful, whatever, uh, there was no way it was not gonna activate emergency exit. So you can definitely tank the hit, but it's going to activate emergency exit anyway. So if you're using Galassipod to eat hits from super effective mons like that, don't. Don't. Because even if you do tank the hit, as I said, you're going to be forced out because of emergency exit. But in any case, guys, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you learned something. Feel free to check out the playlist down below. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.